Hi, this is John with Estimator for SketchUp, and this is just a sort of a beginner's tutorial or just a simple uh, tutorial on we're going to create a slab and show you how powerful Estimator for SketchUp can be to determine all the quantities and uh, to estimate that slab. So we're going to start out with a blank slate, and I'm going to just draw a rectangle that's say 20 feet, comma 20 feet. All right, and then just make it a little more interesting in shape. I'm going to go say six feet, comma six feet, and get rid of this little corner here. All right, so now we can see that we've got a 364 square foot um, face. But let's uh, let's use push pull and pull that up four inches. So four enter. Now you can see we're getting somewhere. Okay, let's triple click on that. Hit G. That's a shortcut on my keyboard to make that a component. Let's just call that a slab. And just to make it a little more interesting looking, let's go to um, materials and let's go to, um, I've got somewhere in my little library here, I've got some, I got concrete in here. Let's go with that. So we've got a concrete look to it. Okay. Further, let's put this on a layer. Let's make a layer called slab and put that on a layer. Whoops, do I edit it? Let's put that on that layer called slab. And we'll talk about why in a second. All right, so now we wanna get some information uh, about this slab. SketchUp alone, if you look at the entity info, will tell you how many cubic feet it is. So that's cool, that's the, um, you know, that's the volume of it. If you were to triple click on this, you can see it's 364 square feet. Great, all right, well, if you're gonna estimate that, you'd have to, Let's take these numbers out, put them in a spreadsheet um, to, to find out all the cost data for it. With Estimator, we'll open up Estimator. Um, here are all the tabs in here. This particular component, when we click on it, is called a slab. Uh, where, there we go, slab is selected. We could enter data with slab or we get to enter data by layer. There's two different ways we can do this. And what I'm gonna do right now is do it by layer because a component, I think of things that I'm gonna reuse in other models. If this was a uh, two by four stud or something that I'm gonna reuse over and over again, I would wanna put all my data to that. But every house that I do, uh, every one has a different slab, different, um, different dimension, different shape. So we're gonna talk about layers right now. So we're gonna switch over to the layers and you'll see that I've selected this so now it's including it on the layer called slab. Okay, so we don't have any cost information there yet. So I'm gonna minimize these things just to get them out of the way right now. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna know how much concrete that is. Okay, so I'm gonna come up to my cost codes and I'm just gonna start typing in concrete. And here's one, let's go with concrete. Um, let's just go with this one. Code 3400 concrete. Now these are NAHB's National Association of Home Builders cost codes that I use. But you can have your own proprietary cost codes that you can upload that we'll talk about in another video under user settings. So we'll put that as our cost code. Our description is going to be, let's say, say it's 3000 PSI concrete. Okay. In my market, my uh, Chandler is my concrete company. Let's choose them. Attribute, we're going to choose, in this case, we're going to choose the cubic yards because that's how I purchase the concrete is in cubic yards. I don't need to add a multiplier because I've already know the attribute that I'm after and that's cubic yards. We'll talk about this multiplier in a second. Current unit rate's about $110 per, see if I hit C, there's cubic yards pops up. So these units displayed is also another area that you can upload your own file uh, as well as this vendor, I forgot to say, under your vendors, you can upload your, your own vendor's CSV files so you don't have to type those in every single time. It'll autofill for you. Same for the units displayed. You may be on metric or some other system and you can put your own units in there. All right, let's not uh, worry about labor right now because that's going to be done on a separate uh, associated cost. Um, Let's go to waste and say, that, yeah, we're gonna maybe 10% waste. Some of it's stuck in the chutes and we didn't figure enough. It's a little deeper in places. And I have state sales tax where I am. So I'll hit save changes and I can instantly see that it's $579 in concrete, okay? Well, let's add some other cost to that because we've got other work associated with that. 
let's add an associated cost to pay our carpenter to form this slab. So if I go into here and say, just type in form. Okay, there's form work. And the description is form slab. My vendor in this case is frame tech. So I'm picking him out of there. In this case, I want to use the square feet. Okay, because that's how I pay him. And then there's no multiplier because the attributes what I want. So I'm going to come over here and say it's 50 cents per square foot. So if I go to the units displayed, hit S, there's SF. That's what I wanted. I don't pay sales tax. I'm not paying any waste on that. I'm just going to hit save changes. So now when I look up in here, I can see that it's 364. Remember, we saw that from over the entity info. And so it's $182 to form it. And if I go back one, I can see it was five cubic yards of concrete, $579. But for grand total for this piece of geometry now is $761. All right, so now let's add another component or another cost. Let's say that we want to figure the labor to, that uh, we're paying the concrete guy to finish this. So let's go back under concrete and concrete labor. And we'll call this finishing, finish lab. How about that? In this case, it's um, Montgomery Concrete. I'm going to choose the square feet again. And I have no multiplier. The unit rate is 0 0.60 cents per square feet. And no waste, no tax. Okay, save changes. So now I can see the 364 square feet is going to cost me $218 to place that slab. Let's do another one. Let's say another add associated cost. Let's do the poly that goes underneath this, the rolls of poly. So we're going to have concrete accessories in this case. Let's just go with concrete extras. And I'm just going to call this a, a 12 foot um, by 100 foot four or excuse me, six mil poly. And vendor is, let's say it's caps. Okay, we'll use them as our vendor. We're gonna use the square feet again, but a 12 foot by 100 foot roll is going to be 1,200 square feet. So I'm gonna say divide the square footage that we have by 1,200 square feet. And let's just say that that roll of poly is $30 per roll. There's rolls. And I have sales tax on it. I could add a waste factor if I wanted to, but I already know that in this case, uh, that one roll is going to be more than enough and it save changes and it gave me one roll of poly to put down in there. Okay. So you can see how you can use a multiplier and you can do as many associated costs as you want. Okay. When you're done with that, you can go over to reports and hit this HTML report and let me bring it over to you. And you can see all those costs that were associated with that one quick action of drawing that slab. We have our concrete, our form work, our finish work, and our poly and all of our cost codes to sort it. So that is just a quick beginner tutorial on a simple slab and how quickly we got an estimate for that slab. Thank you for watching.